Hello there guys and welcome back. So guys, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this acid wheel cleaner. It's a concentrate um, and it's 500 mils of it. I've diluted it down 1 to 8 basically. Um, the, the recommended dilution ratio for heavy residue is 1, put, 1 to 3. But I find 1 to 8 quite effective as well uh, with agitation or um, and uh, even without it, it will chew to through the brake dust. One to three is too strong. 12 pounds, quite cost effective as well. So as you can see guys, this wheel, this hammer has been two weeks of brake dust. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try cleaning the wheel using just a pre-rinse and then applying the chemical on the wet wheel, which really doesn't make any difference. But prior to using the wet uh, NASA wheel cleaner what i would recommend is check the condition of your wheel so if your lacquer finish or clear coat is peeling off you don't want to use it then because if you're going to get it on metal it will flash it will oxidate and um, it might potentially ruin the look of your wheel if it's damaged but it's absolutely safe on clear coat then second of all um, especially if you use the recommended dilution ratio one to three make sure you don't um, get us on your skin use gloves if you get it it might irritate your skin also um, consider you know try not to breathe this stuff in maintain distance while you're spraying make sure you don't get this in your eye because it's really really potent and um, the reason why I'm actually using the acid base wheel cleaner sometimes especially on these wheels because they've been hammered they have baked in brake dust is because it is extremely effective because a regular all-purpose cleaner will cleaner will not chew for break dust like this and um, yeah it's extremely effective also worth mentioning that um, a proper rinse off is required so you don't really want none of this stuff left behind so i've seen some people actually rinse off their acid based wheel cleaner and use like a car soap um just to neutralize that acid but i'm pretty sure if you use it one to one like one to eight or one to ten it's not going to be that much of an issue um as you can see now i just sprayed some um dry inane wax and uh, kind of neutralizing that um well acid based acid a little bit and adding some gloss but it doesn't really matter that much at this dilution ratio um plus there's you know i'm not gonna put that wax on the inner barrel of the wheel itself so um but the one two three i would kind of when i used it one two three i've noticed that was really really strong it even stripped down all of the um brake dust of the brake caliper and it was really really strong and and any glue residue that i have in my inner barrel you know any stickers on my inner barrel of my wheel i don't know how they got there in the first place but it did um actually break down the glue and everything like that so um yeah it's really really strong and one to three especially if your wheel is hammered i mean yeah that's i would actually use it and and as well remember if it's not damaged you can use it but just be really really cautious but rather than that uh i basically use it as a casual regular wheel cleaner i, I agitate the um wheel with a brush i use a soft brush i don't need a stiff brush on these wheels um, i just need a soft brush you can get into all intricate areas and the rules are basically the same as with any wheel cleaner you would use just agitate work in the product um well clockwise or anti-clockwise doesn't matter but as long as you um you know are working in a pattern here just to get all those intricate areas in and um rather than that there's no difference but there's a massive difference working between the dilution ratio of one to three and a one to ten or one to eight because a one to three it's extremely potent a one to ten i would say it's a bit more friendly but if you're using a one to three um it actually if you just spray it over the wheel and then rinse it off it will probably knock off 95 percent of a brake dust without um even touching the wheel so it's really really effective this cleaner is got it off amazon 12 pounds and to concentrate i would consider it's a really cost effective product especially for scenarios like this 
and it actually comes as a bottle but it also has a sprayer and it says it's like a gel formula which i think it's really not there's no gel in it that i've seen but i really didn't bother because that's not what i'm really buying it for to be honest in the first place so and to finish off the wheel i use some i use a dry nade and it gives a bit of shine a bit of a uh, protection so it's, next time i'm cleaning the wheel it's going to be a bit easier Overall, an acid waste wheel cleaner is really, really effective and I think it just needs to be used with caution and uh, understanding. Thank you for watching the video guys, like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next videos.